Do you remember this? I got that from one of you. Hello guys, my name is Doke. And in today's episode of Art Story, we will try to bring my art into reality. Well, actually, my art from 2D into 3D. It's called carving or sculpture, sculpture, blah. To do something like this, you need just about 30 bucks. I sound like somebody who has done it before, although I didn't, but you neither. So let's try. Here are the tools that we will need. First of all, a knife like this, which costs about one buck. Then we will need a foam cutter. There are multiple foam cutters on the market. This is x -Tall Craft, which costs about 20 bucks. And the last thing that we will need is a big piece of polystyrene, or how my friend Google says... Polystyrene. Polystyrene. There are multiple types of polystyrene. This one is a little bit special because he's so strong and he doesn't have these small pieces inside of him. So it should be easier to cut him. Polystyrene costs about 5 euros per piece. And that's everything what we need. Before we start to bring my art into 3D, I would love to show you how these guys work together. Polystyrene can be cut with a knife, although this is not the most comfortable solution. That's why I also bought this foam cutter, or if you want, hot wire. You put him into electricity and... See? This is one of the most satisfying things in the world. You even have multiple wires which you can use. And no, this video is not sponsored, but it should be. You know what tools and materials we need and we can finally create something. I've never really carved in my life except <laughs> Nemo. So I want to start with something simple. This is the reason why I finished the math university. <laughs> don't understand I'm creating the logo of dog brand in a real size like real proportions it doesn't necessarily need to be 100% accurate but I will try merch store in description <laughs> it's kind of hard to make a circle you know without any edges um, See this O over here? The problem is that it is not a perfect circle, which means that I can't use this perfect circle as a reference. It isn't perfect, but good enough. Time for car car bang scalp. Okay, I need to put this part away so I can get to these letters. I might use this guy right away, but I have a feeling that this wire will be better. Look at that! It's like a clear cut. <laughs> This is so much fun. I will try this wire right now. With this one I'll be able to carve from here for example. With this one I need to get it over there through all this waste. So I tried the second wire and I have to say that this one is much better. You can see it over here. This is a cut made with the thin liar. It's super clear, super precise. This is the cut made with this wire. 
It's dirty, not that good. So I will change them. And I will put him back at places like this O over here or the D because you can't get there with this kind of a wire. Working on this project reminds me the good old custom series. For those of you who don't remember or don't know, in these videos I used to create all kind of stuff, but most of the time I was just painting on, on cars, iPhones, clothes. And yeah, frankly, it was the most popular series on my channel. But then I stopped to record these videos and... And yeah, who knows, maybe I'll come back to the custom series. What do you think? Do you miss these videos? it's time for the O and yeah it's quite easy to make these edgy letters but if you want to talk about this well let's try I have my own 3D logo. Although this is not the end. I want to put the letters into a color. On this piece over here, I wanted to learn how the car wing works. And I have to say that I made, um, I made some mistakes. If you want to make a straight line, it's quite easy, but you have to think about the way how you hold the hot wire because otherwise you can create something like this, which is not really cool 3D effect. Carving of a round shapes is much, much harder. It is possible, but I wouldn't say that it is possible like 100%. But anyways, it's so much fun. Just as I said, I will cover the logo, but right now I want to carve something, something like this, a little bit more advanced graffiti style. That's gonna be a real challenge. For that, I got this more thick polystyrene. This is the original one. And this is the one that I will be working with right now. letters without anything looks quite nice to me I'm really happy about them but I was doing this whole thing with a paper just to make a sketch for the polyster poly let's call it poly <laughs>
is gonna be a lot of carving. Let's do it! on this more complicated piece I started to realize that maybe I should have buy a little bit different kind of a foam cutter because with this one it was so hard to keep the angles right as I will show you a little bit later I was thinking about something like this getting there and I just I just can't wait to see it but you know it's not just about cutting these shapes you have to be aware that there is a there is this whole part and it's just so hard to keep the the wire straight so from this side it will probably look good but from the other side it's just completely When I was working on this part of the piece, traditional artistic doubt started to appear, as always. The doubt that the result will be different than I expected, but I decided to just keep going and, and yeah, that's what we artists need to do all the time. second piece is also hard. Let me show it to you before we put it into color. When I've seen it in the camera, it's, it's really, yeah, I like it a lot. Let me show you what I don't like. These parts over here are just uh, bad. And making of these holes was super, super difficult. The details are, are not good. I was dreaming about the same surface like it is over here inside of these holes, but I was just not able to do that. But never mind, in making art, there is always something what's gonna go wonk. But yeah, to apply the color, I'll be using uh, water-based Molotov cans. I don't recommend using normal cans because once I tried it on a normal pulley, and it completely destroyed the poly. I want to keep it in one color. Alrighty, after a lot of work, I'm ready to show you the results. I think that these two 3D pieces will find a place in my new studio. Guys, if you like it, thumb up. Yep, yeah, thumb up would make me happy. And let me know in the comments below if you want to see more carving videos. And if yes, what carving videos? This is it. Yeah.